scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. About to make his way to the ring. From Johnston City, Tennessee, he weighs in at 215 pounds. You know, with Kid Cash, it's all about R-E-S-P-E-C-T and his absolute lack of it. From TNA management to referees to women wrestlers to TV announcers, he's made it clear he could care less about any of it. But when it came to disrespecting the legends of our sport, he struck a nerve. Last Wednesday, he survived against his teacher, Ricky Morton. Tonight, he's set to face another legend, wrestling's living legend. And his opponent... He is the living legend, Larry Zabisco. As he mentioned, 30 plus glorious years. This man, Larry Zabisco, has accomplished it all. From the rivalry in the early 80s with his teacher, Bruno San Martino, and yes, there are some interesting parallels you can draw between Zabisco and Kid Cash to his reign as the AWA World Heavyweight Champion, to his run as color commentator on WCW's Monday Nitro, Larry has done it all. The nickname, Wrestling's Living Legend, says it all. Well, you know one thing that the Living Legend wants to do right now is somehow put the word respect into Kid Cash's vocabulary. Because like you said earlier, he has shown absolutely zero for anyone and anything. And if it hasn't been for his monster partner, Abyss, Keith Cash would have had it handed to him so many times, Mike. As we wait for this matchup to get underway, I'm still thinking about Raven and that decision that he had to make. He made it, though. And he did. You know, he had the chance to finish off Douglas, put him in the body bag. But instead, he, he went to help Julio and Alexis. He went to help the gathering. It's so uncharacteristic of Raven, as we mentioned earlier. I guess it's no longer just all about what about me as far as Raven is concerned. No, Raven showed total unselfishness there. He showed loyalty to the gathering. you got to respect Raven for that. I hope he can get there in time. I don't know that he'll even be able to find him. And you notice how Shane Douglas was just laughing, almost like he knew what was coming, and he let Raven set him up. And he set Raven up by taking the DDT. That was the same feeling that I had. I mean, there's no way we can confirm that, but just as you mentioned, the laugh, the look on the face of Shane Douglas as Raven made his way up the ramp, left the ring area to go find, at least attempt to find, Father James Mitchell, the disciples of the new church, and certainly help out Julio and Alexis the gathering. You know, whoever thought you could say the words Raven and loyalty in the same sentence? You know, but to, it happened right here tonight. To refer to this matchup between Larry Zabisco and Keith Cash as a contrast in offensive styles, I think would be an understatement. I would expect Zabisco to rely on the sound fundamentals that date back to his amateur days in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Attempt to ground Kid Cash. Cash obviously is going to look to go top rope, to go high risk. Try and take Larry Zabisco out of his game. Just sizing each other up right now here, Mike, but you're right. That's exactly what Larry Zabisco is going to do. He's going to keep Kid Cash as low to the man as he can. You know, I'm sure Zabisco maybe sees just a little bit of himself in Kid Cash. Let's face it, it was Larry's cockiness, it was Larry's confidence that led to the big showdown at Shea Stadium when he battled his mentor, Bruno San Martino, in a very famous cage match. But you know what? With age comes wisdom, and I think that's what happened with Zabisco. And now exactly he it. wants to teach Kid Cash the right way. Couldn't have said it better myself. That was exactly the direction that I was headed. Zabisco not going to be taken by any of Kid Cash's mind games right here. He's too experienced, Mike. The wisdom, the experience of the living legend, as we mentioned, the former AWA World Heavyweight Champion against the, the brash, the disrespectful, the cocky and confident Kid Cash. Top wrist lock by Zabisco. This is going to be a style that Kick Cash hasn't seen in TNA at all, Mike. And you would expect, as we talked about earlier, we, we thought that Larry would try and ground Kid Cash, exactly what he's done. And you would also think that Kid Cash wants to make this match go long. Because I think the longer that the match goes, 
You'd have to agree with me. The cardio, oh. cardiovascular oh, yeah. edge, That's I think, is a path to advantage. shift to the younger kid, Cash. Yes. All something to keep in mind as we watch this matchup between wrestling's living legend, Larry Zabisco and Kid Cashy Ball. Kind of what you would suspect right now in a Zabisco type of match. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, they're, they're going at the pace, I think, that Larry wants. Reversal and a second reversal. Oh, there's the... Oh, the agility of Kid Cash. Kid Cash double springboard oh. hits the cross body block. Oh, the fish going in just race the foot across the forehead. Oh, the fish go off guard there. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Referee Rudy Charles gets the respect back after Cash slams him. I loved it. Senior official, referee Rudy Charles, he's also been disrespected by Kid Cash over the course of the past couple of months, just like everybody else has here in TNA. You know what I loved about Rudy Charles there was he could have disqualified him there when he first left, but he just gave it right back to him. I think that's the kind of attitude that everybody's getting around Kid Cash. Everybody just wants to shut him up, Mike, you know what I mean? Off the elbow drop to the top of the head, Kid Cash, the go behind, and now hooks ah. on the sleeper hold on Zabisco. Zabisco certainly experienced enough to know the proper counters for the sleeper. Like a pair of elbows right into the ribs. Oh, Kid Cash going for the... He puts, claw, on, puts, on the brakes, puts on the brakes and applies the iron claw to the head of Zabisco. Oh my, Zabisco here in a position. Oh, there he goes. Yep. You gotta do what you gotta do, Mike. I guess that would be the great equalizer, wouldn't it? Absolutely. I'm not sure if it's the iron claw. Oh, but a claw nonetheless and a big right hand. Oh, fantastic. Up Zabisco into the light. showing his strength. Nice elevation on the back body drop, and Zabisco follows up. You know, I admire Kid Cash's talent, and I mean, a great X Division champion. And I, and you know me, I'm a fan and love everybody, but Kid Cash is that one person here that I just want to the see. The one exception? The one exception. And I just want to see him get what's coming to him. He's got to learn. Zabisco's got him. Zabisco takes him no. to his shoulder with the backbreaker, no. sort of saves the yeah. Showed some quickness there, Mike. Abyss saved Kid Cash a week ago no. against Ricky Morton. No. Oh, and he drives Abyssco into the black hole this week. Just too much for him. Senior official Rudy Charles turns around and he sees Abyssco laid out. Kid Cash scoops back, hooks the leg oh, in. Yeah. He's got the three count. Abyss was the difference for the second week in a row. Every time it's Abyss. So we the match. Kid. Oh, now what's he gonna do? Oh, enough's enough. This big monster, this six foot eight, 300 plus pounder, Abyss again proves the difference in the match. I mean, Zabisco was doing great up to that point. Oh, he had he got him. the backbreaker.